Hi, uh, so this is the second vid for the fourth lesson, all about inverse trig, in the uh, functions pack. So I want to graph cos to the minus 1 of 2x. So we know from the previous page, we know that the cos graph goes between minus 1 and 1, and between 0 and pi. But cos 2x is a stretch, scale factor a half, uh, in the x-axis, so they're going to be halves now, aren't they? So I'm going to get that picture, but with halves. That's what I'm thinking. Where are we? Here. There. So I've got that picture. Like that. So instead of a 1, that's going to be a half. Instead of minus 1, that's going to be minus a half. Uh, let's do the 0, so that's a 0. That's a pi by 2. And at the top, it's a there we go, so I've done that. Um, is it worth writing down here that this is a stretch? Scale factor, a half, parallel to the x-axis. Right then, so state the range, uh, so you can see that the range is naught to pi. So f of x, belongs to the real numbers such that it goes from naught to pi. Now you've got to be careful if it was tan to the minus 1 because of your asymptotes, you wouldn't want the equals on there, would you? Put some curly brackets around there. Right, then we've got to find the inverse, so that's okay, isn't it? So first step, write y equals. Second step, switch x and y round. The equivalent of the reflection in y equals x. Third step, do a bit of rearranging. So what we've got, so we've got cos of x. Oh, hang on, that should be a y there, sorry. Cos of x is equal to 2y, so a half cos x is equal to y. Then the last step, so it was f of x, so it's f to the minus 1 of x is a half cos x. With these questions, you have to state what its um, domain is. So the domain of this is the range of the original function. So, so I want to state the domain. doesn't tell you to, but you've got to. I don't think I've stressed that in the earlier videos. Uh, and remember, that's the range of the other. So the range is not to pi. Remember, this is for the x values, isn't it? Uh, so really, I guess we should do like an x belongs to, shouldn't we, really? We're taking no shorthand round here. So x belongs to the real numbers such that it's between 0 and pi. Yeah, there we go. I think that's done, isn't it? So there's a question for you on the next page. <laughs> With lots of boxes on it. Oh, that's it! Bonus, that's not much, is it? It's faffy um, functions, and people don't like them, but all you're doing is drawing graphs. I don't see that, can you? You see that one? I was like, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Wow. So I can draw one in that way. Oh, no, it's not in draw. Minus one, minus two, zero, uh, minus five. Hi. There you go. Right, see you later, everybody. Well done. Bye.